Well, as we mentioned earlier, people can now place orders for curbside pickup at more liquor stores in Pennsylvania, and they are getting swamped with orders. They really are. So local breweries, wineries, and distilleries are also extremely busy with delivery and curbside pickup orders. Selena Pompiani checked in with a few local spots that say business is booming like never before. McLaughlin Distillery in Swickley has had to bring in more workers to keep up with the high demand of curbside pickup and delivery orders. We put 130 bottles of vodka on the website at noon and 10 minutes it was gone. Kim McLaughlin says the community support has been fantastic. Our bourbon outsells everything. It's like the Christmas season for us. And the Christmas season is their busiest time of the year. Quantum Spirits in Carnegie has also been so swamped with orders that they sold out of everything right now except barrel rested gin and Amaro. Our business model has been flipped around entirely, obviously. Ryan Canto is the distillery czar and co founder of Quantum Spirits. He tells me they immediately shut down their tasting room, and after a few weeks into quarantine, they decided to start a delivery service as well as curbside pickup. Thank you. But there's a demand for another type of alcohol based substance for Quantum Spirits, and it's the request for hand sanitizer. Something that used to be illegal for us to produce. About six, seven different government organizations came through with guidance that said, yes, during the course of this crisis, you're able to. They've made hundreds of gallons of hand sanitizer so far. We partnered with the state of Pennsylvania, who had a, a big need for first responders, hospitals, things of that nature. They are one of many other distillers across the state producing hand sanitizer for those in need. We've committed to giving up to five gallons of hand sanitizer for any first responder organization that approaches us. Uh, so we've done that for several dozen at this point in time in the, the Pittsburgh region. To keep up with demand, local wineries are also offering curbside pickup and delivery orders. We closed for a couple of weeks uh, just out of an abundance of caution and um, quickly realized that we needed to be open because, you know, people needed their wine. I didn't realize we were so much of a necessity, but yeah, we are. And they are getting bombarded with old and new customers. It's been pretty crazy. It's nice to have all of our regulars calling in and waving from outside the window, picking up their orders, but it's not the same as being with the customers. We miss everyone. You know, guys, I do really miss sitting at some of my favorite spots, hanging out at the bar with other people around in the same room, but it's still so nice to see that these places are getting so much success during this period of uncertainty. Reporting for PTL, I'm Selena Pompiani.